Nikon D90's D-Movie mode is without a doubt the camera's most unique feature. Compared to tiny point-and-shoot cameras and cell phones that shoot video, the D90 delivers improved picture quality and dozens of lens options to stretch your creative wings. One thing I really appreciate about video from the D90 is that there are no tapes to transfer. And unlike the current crop of tapeless video camcorders, the video files that the D90 records are not an incompatible format. They're just regular AVI files, almost the video equivalent of JPEG files. The video clips are easy to watch using Windows Media Player, Apple QuickTime, and most of the popular video editing programs. Whenever you're in live view mode, you can press the OK button to begin recording a movie. And then press it again to stop recording. How's that for being easy? Let's go to the shooting menu page and choose movie settings. Three movie formats are available. The highest resolution being HD at 1280 by 720 pixels. The 640 by 424 mode is roughly equivalent to a regular standard definition television picture. And the 320 by 216 mode records smaller movies that you could post on a web page. Your choice of which movie mode is best for you will be determined by several factors. How will your movie be shown? Do you have an HD television that is capable of showing the HD movies that you shoot? Will you be editing your movies? If so, what resolution can your editing software handle? And so forth. Only you can answer these questions for you, and I strongly suggest that you do some experimenting right now before you shoot a bunch of movies with settings that were the wrong choice. In professional video production, that's called testing your workflow. Now, while the movie mode does make capturing short video clips fun and easy to do, it's not meant to replace a good camcorder, so don't expect too much from it. Here are some limitations of movie shooting that you should be aware of. Number one, once the movie has started recording, there's no auto-focusing. Only manual focus adjustments are possible, and that's very hard to see on the LCD monitor. Number two, in the default mode, exposure will fluctuate constantly, as seen in this example, whenever the camera or subject moves. Number three, the camera will tend to overexpose most movies, and it's very difficult to judge whether the exposure is right or wrong just by looking at the monitor. Number four, with most lenses, you have no real control over the selected aperture or shutter speed that the camera will use. Number five, audio is recorded as single channel mono only. There's no windscreen for the built-in microphone and there's no jack to connect an external microphone. And number six, video is always recorded at 24 frames per second rather than the more traditional 30 frames per second you're used to seeing on TV. So any motion in the picture might look a little jumpy to you. To learn the best techniques for overcoming these and other challenges of shooting movies with the Nikon D90, be sure to check out www.larkbooks.com digital. Thank you for watching and have fun shooting.